Nabila Ramdani is a journalist who specialises in Arabic affairs. Morning, Nabila. Good morning. How much did this incursion by the military catch Cairo and the international community by surprise? Well, I think it, it came as a huge uh, shock to not only Egyptians, but also the international community. But uh, I think it is also something that was predicted all along. Uh, effectively, there was a military coup carried out against an elected president. And whatever your view on that president and his government, what happened was entirely undemocratic. And military units imprisoning an elected president, but also rounding up hundreds of Muslim Brotherhood supporters and indeed leaders was, and, and, you know, putting them under detention was always going to lead to huge opposition and indeed demonstrations quite naturally by the people who brought um, Mohammed Morsi uh, into power. And the, the uh, armies are effectively trained to use extreme uh, violence to deal with problems and indeed dissent. And this is the kind of, you know, ferocious, the ruthless situation you have when the army is running a country, which is very much the case in Egypt. And I heard a man saying yesterday that, uh, you know, far from the army being a uni unifying force in Egypt in the past, it is now polarising people. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, what is, uh, you know... Uh, Anybody who has spent time in Cairo recently, and especially over the last month since uh, President Morsi has been deposed by, by the military, uh, by the military, can see that this is ruled by military strength rather than representative government. Uh, and it now seems that the military are attempting, you know, on, on a recurrent basis to draw the enemies, the historical enemies, the Muslim Brotherhood, in the open so as to deal with them. This is a, a basic military tactic, but not a democratic one. And what the uh, international community and indeed the entire world is witnessing is routine massacres, street slaughters carried out uh, by the army. Uh, this is now, you know, the, yesterday's massacre was the third massacre since the beginning of July when President Morsi was deposed. Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and indeed their supporters are determined to uh, reinstate the president and end military rule and uh, we are you know there, there, there will be no end to the protests until you know as they claim they will achieve their aim. So what do you think is going to happen a, a pitch into civil war or another election what what will happen first? Well I think you know the, the call from the army uh, early on to uh, effectively ask people for a democratic mandate and indeed the criminalization of uh, President Morsi and his supporters was a hugely confrontational move and uh, you know it's the complete opposite of what people in a democratic country would expect and because of this a tense situation. It, w it seems very difficult to diffuse, you know, the 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 the, 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 the you know the the the, the, the opposition, in fact, between two deeply entrenched camps and mm -hmm. and indeed historical rivals. Um, the army also manufactured an interim uh, government, uh, which uh, is you know in the background but not achieving much. And the vice president has resigned. Yes. Indeed, that was signals, you know, uh, that send a strong message from a member of the government that violence is not, you know, an option as far as, you know, the, um, as far as he's concerned. But having said that, it's very much a tokenistic gesture, which will be welcomed by Democrats, but would not be of significant importance as, as long as the army is in charge. Nabila, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on the programme. That's Nabila Ramdani, their journalist specialising in Arabic affairs. We hope...